and they are, go, 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 clip into the pedals, and it's who's going to get that first kind of whole shot. Martina Martina Berta Berta from Berta. Italy, the Italian champion, but Peter Schiff behind her. And good Evie start, Richard, good start as well. Yeah. Yep. And this first hard climb, quite deceptive, but it's a really stiff one, yeah? Y yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had the question to my rivals as well, if it, is it steep or not steep? But you see how fast these riders going from the start on. It's quite a, a steep climb. And uh, I tell you, the, the riders, they will feel that in their legs. And off the top of this climb, sharp left, and then start quite a fast descent, bit it of technical. Is. Actually, that's the highest point of the course, but here you can see as well, there's like a transit lane. But Peter uh, is leading in that lane with the number four on her bike, number one on her bike, sorry. And uh, Luana Lecomte in the purple kit, uh, the number four on her bike. She's taking actually the tag feet, so now yep. first. But it's a big decision on a course like this. Do you go lightweight hardtail yes. or faster, more comfortable full suspension? Yeah. But and actually this uh, cross country course here in Lige, it has some technical parts in it, but in general, not too much. Yep. Uh, the only obstacles they have to take are mostly hand built. And there's a little bit of a, s a short, rooty section, very steep. But uh, the climbs are quite hard here on this uh, cross country course. It's all getting very cagey at the front now. Puck Peters are wanting to take it on. Alessandra Keller following second. Lecomte, yep. Rizveds, Evie Richards. I'm wondering if the riders have a little bit of a problem of the, the sunset because the, it's. it's, it's yeah, they're all dark lenses, and uh, yeah, the, when the sun goes down... And you can see riders are struggling with the speed yeah. of the first... So Puck Peters are made a go, and then Alessandra Keller has made a go over the top, and yeah, we yeah, see yeah. Lecomte now having a go. And this, this grass section over here, it's really bad rolling, a lot of rolling resistance, so the riders, they have to push really hard. Using their elbows a little bit, slowing down. The Ooh. pace has dropped off, getting a little tactical, do you think? And all getting prepped for that last lap smash, right? That's what they do, yeah. They try to save a little bit of energy, recovering, they're stretching their legs, but now they have to push again, drop a seat post down. Especially the, the positions are very important. And who do you think out of this guy, out of this group here, who would be the best sprinter? Who would you put your money on out of this? Uh, Jenny Rispets for sure. She's a good sprinter. Haley Batten, maybe she's good. She's still a bit fresh, but Peter says she knows what to do when it comes down to positioning. But Keller definitely is strong. So when you it comes think, down to the last. I lap. think Keller will want to go for a long, drawn out kind of effort rather than a flat, flat sprint. Ooh, oh, and with that, slides. this is it. Lecomte looks round, sees this, the gap. This might be the decision. This is a decision. Rizfeds now it going not from that front much group. time to recover of this, but uh, still one more lap if they cross the finish line. Oh, so Lecomte came round. the rear wheel on the, the grass oh. slides away. And it's really stalls. Puck Peters are struggling, gets caught on the inside. Rizfeds has to completely stop and get going yeah, again. And then you have to uh, start again. And we see Lecomte, she turned around, saw the gap, and was like, gotta go, gotta go. Yeah, Jenny Rizfeds, she's not in touch with the group, but Peter says the last one of that group. Let's see where she is. But Keller having ha made that mistake with the rear wheel sliding out, yeah. is easily closer. Keller goes! Keller comes. And again, it's getting cagey, we saw elbow to elbow compact between Peters, Peters and Richards, and this is gonna be the big attack, they're gonna go long, two minutes to go. Berg Peters are leading here for the last time on this climb. Keller behind her, next to her, tries to overtake her and this the is, loose gravel. This is the big climb. If you've got the climbing legs and you're going to make the attack, and we see Keller Peters up, big, big efforts now. This is the top of the climb. They've got the grass section, a descent, only a small climb, and then it's down to the sprint. Yep, and Keller inside, Berg Peters a little bit more outside. It's Berg Peters who's still leading here. They're taking deep, Keller. really deep. Really, this is a maximum, and we see Mona Vitamar at 188 yeah. beats a minute. <laughs> That's but not Petters an easy are ride getting at the all. gap. Keller, She's Richards so fighting, fighting, fighting to get back on. Batten, after that, closing the gap, maybe that energy that she expended is starting to tell. But Puck Peters are just, what, three meters, four meters. Puck post down. Richards goes past Keller. Yo, Evie Richards, second place now. And Richards is so good on the tech. Can she close she this gap? Really three strong. rock gardens. Peters are a few more turns. Oh. We've got one rock garden, two rock gardens. They have to carry, like you said, about carrying that speed around the last bend. That looks good for Berg Petersen. Peters are Richards. Let's see that gap now. But That's yeah, Richards difference. is closing. Closing down. we got this rock garden now. Taking that Peters inside line for Berg Petersen. Oh, Peters are big gap. Sprint, 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 sprint. 
Can Peters get it? Peters got it. That gap ahead of Richards. She's going to win her first short track of the season. Puck Peters up, wins in Leger. Evie Richards second. Alessandra Keller third. What a race. What a race. <laughs> Hayley, Hayley Patton. Patton. That's the uh, right. What, what a race for what her. A race. To, uh, what a comeback for her. Yes, That's and you see what it means. You yeah, know, yeah, back yeah. from 30 seconds of the grid, Lecomte made that gap. Mona Vitova. Also, first row start for first her on row. Sunday. Best short track of the season the by far. Martina Berta, Rizvez. in on eighth place. Courtney. Rizvez was obviously the one that got caught in that incident. But Peter's a <laughs> nothing left. <laughs> 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 Evie Richard, and you see. Yeah. 20 minutes it, of race action. It shows how bad it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're done. So XCC results from this evening. Round six of eight in the World Cup. Puck Peters are first place. Evie Richards second. Alessandra Keller third. Hayley Vatten, amazing ride. Jenny Risfeds unfortunately getting caught in that last lap cash. And again, the top 40 this evening racing, and that will be their grid positions for the big XCC, XCO race on Sunday. First win of the multiple podiums in XCC. Finally gets the top of the step for her first XCC race of the year, or win of the year. And again, possibly puts her as favorite for Sunday's XCO race. The big news will be is whether Pauline Provonpovo, world champion and winner of the world here last year on this course, can recover from the illness that took her out of the XCC tonight and make it to the start line for Sunday's race. So, with, along with Yolanda Naff, who also missed with illness tonight, those will be two riders I'm going back to the XCC standings. So, just for the short track racing, Puck Peters in after tonight's result, jumps ahead of Alessandra Keller. Pauline Promprovo, a victim of missing tonight's race due to illness, dropping to third. Hayley Batten up to 16th now after tonight's amazing result. Yolanda Naff drops to 18th due to, again, missing this evening's race due to illness. So, get well soon, and hopefully, we see them on the start line on Sunday.